welcome to Octane Mobile Gaming. Welcome once again to the channel. I am High Octane, your host, and today we're going to take a look at the next deck which is out for the Earth Slayer event. This deck is a Arcane Killer deck, but before we do so, we're going to jump right into the news link. There is quite a bit of information in the news link this week. Please do have a read of your news link. The part of the news link that I am really interested in it is about upgrading your ultimate form so if you read the last part of the news link it's right uh, about the fourth line where it says uh, please note the max level promotion does not apply to crafting the ultra rare master hero shiny hero or earning the support and main hero from the event collection so they are talking about a uh, max level so it's a for 24 hours only any event hero earn from the vault will be will be received at their max level so that's master collection card main hero ultimate form whatever not the ultimate form sorry any card that you receive from the vault you have to craft the ultimate form so every other card that you get will be at max level that means it will be at its maximum so you don't have to power them up okay now the part that i want to um, point out it at the bottom it says please note that upon evolving your ultimate form gods of ur pass one pink star and all the way to six pink star all awakening levels will be lost so if you get this ultimate form at one pink star and you decide to awaken it three times and then you take it up another pink star you will lose your awakening so for that reason i would suggest that if you get this ultimate form do not awaken this ultimate form you don't really need to awaken this ultimate form anyhow because this ultimate form for me is basically a supporting card we're gonna look at that uh, in, a, in a bit some multi-boss update due to the last minute 
due to a last minute issue multiboss will not be featured in the upcoming pride of Earth event i was looking forward to that uh, pride of Earth special offer please be aware that all care packages in the pride of life pride of Earth saint patrick's day event will be lost upon leaving your gill please be aware of that as well with that said we're gonna go straight into the cards first we start with the ultimate form so the ultimate form for this week is called gods of air and this card is an arcane killer and the battle skill increases earth slayer's damage by 200 percent for one turn charge rate is nine gems cooldown is three turns it's got three passive on board the battle skill doesn't create any power gems it only increases damage by 200 percent now i know what a lot of you are saying there are cards that we've seen recently that creates power gems 10 12 power gems and increase uh, the damage of that particular deck or particular affinity and type by way more 500 300 so on and so forth but this one it doesn't just increases the damage of one particular card it increases the damage of all earth slayer that means every single card on the deck and it's not the only card that comes with the deck that does this we're gonna look at the ultra rare that does the same thing as well so while might is your first um passive which creates your six earth power gem eights when it comes to power gem this deck is lacking in that area where the ultimate form only creates a six power gem eights 10 power gem eights would i would think would be reasonable endless cauldron is the next passive at the end of each turn it cleanses two enemies a debuff so that is I, i'm thinking it's two it's a one debuff from two cards that's what i'm thinking the next one is emerald resilience and this permanently resists 25 percent take uh, of damage taken from the boss that can be very useful in gvg uh, especially when you you're gonna take damage and um you don't want to die because you haven't got any revive uh resisting 25 percent of the damage is really good so that can be quite useful this card for me it is useful as a supporting card in gvg and in future earth slayer event as well the two we've got one debuff and one buff so absorb is a buff for the boss and chaos is a debuff of the two i would say chaos is the one that you need to dispel and that is your ultimate form we're gonna go straight in and have a look at cunning dagda so this is your master collection card and it's the one that is going to create your six earth power gem eights it's got one turn cooldown so he, as long as you activate its battle skill it will give you six power gem eights every single turn it's got endless cauldron on, 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 on it as well which cleanses two uh debuff from your from two cards on your deck so one debuff per card and this one will dispel absorb next card up is quite useful if you manage to get just the ultra rare from the vault it is quite useful quite nice uh, if you've got two copies of this that's nice but if you've got the ultimate form uh, along with the ultra rare it is even much better because the ultra rare will increase earth slayer's damage by 200 percent so combining the ultra rare with the ultimate form is the way to go 400 percent damage increase for all earth slayer cards so that's quite nice it doesn't create any power gems and it gives you 25 percent damage reduction that alongside the 25% damage reduction from the ultimate form will not give you 50% uh, damage reduction. It will give you about 31% damage reduction. You will get 
25% from one of the cards and then you'll get 25% uh, off the 25% from the next card. So basically 25% of this 25% on your ultra rare added on top of the 25% from your ultimate form, giving you a grand total of 31 point something something percent. And you get 25% of any additional cards that gives you resist, damage resist. So you can't put four card on the deck and think hey, you're gonna get 100% damage resist. It doesn't work that way. Okay, so the next card we're gonna look at is the supporting card. Now for me, as I've said in the past, supporting cards should be creating power gems. And from time to time they give us a supporting card that creates power gems and then they regress so every time they progress, they regress. So this is a progression again. Next week, we might get a regression where we go back to a supporting card that only creates gem. But this one creates three Earth Power Gem 1s and heals for 2,000% of hero recovery. It might not be a powerful card. It might not create high level Power Gems or a massive amount of Power Gem 1s, but it is a step in the right direction. I I sincerely believe that uh, supporting cards should be creating at least power gem ones and at least 10 power gem ones because power gem ones in the grand scheme of things are not that powerful and it heals as well and it's got a one turn cool down. We move on to the last card of this deck which is the main hero Queen uh, Rahanan and this one creates four earth power gem fives one turn cooldown and it this it cleanses one debuff from self which is quite nice this one um counters absorb so it's it's a nice card for those start just starting out in the game i think it would um add to your collection until you start gathering up uh, more powerful cards i've got 64 I've got 64 coins. I need 20 more coins. Uh, that will come from the Retro Vaults and the event. And um, I should be able to craft this ultimate form. I really, I sincerely believe that it will make a great addition to my Earth Slayer deck. So, unless there's something else better coming along in the next two events, which we've got a Light Commander event next week and a Fire Slayer event at the end end of the season not sure if we're gonna get any more brilliant deck i think the water deck was quite nice the deck last week wasn't wasn't that brilliant so that is your um deck for this week uh looking forward i did manage to make a deck uh, so these are some of the ultimate forms that will give you the killer skill uh, the best of the past ultimate form is this one hard one gorillas now if you've got hard one gorillas at six pink star which i would have loved to have it at six pink star um, in combination with the current ultimate form and the ultra rare and combining it with a another card or another two cards that are able to create a decent amount of power gems however this one uh, flourishing fairies it's it's okay it's up, it upgrades six earth power gem uh, to one level higher then creates four earth power gem freeze and then increase arcane killers attack for one turn by 30% per power gem skill trigger so you will have five cards on the board it doesn't matter what affinity as long as it's um a skill that make that produces power gems it will give you uh 30 percent so if you've got five cards five threes 15 150 percent which is not a lot comparing to damage it's got a free turn cooldown it's got um two passive on board deep roots is the first one at the start of each turn it creates one earth power gem one plus one more per 100 arcane killer intensity um the next one is masterful heal whenever a power gem skill is triggers it heals for 200 percent of hero's recovery um this one doesn't create a lot of power gems but as i said with the nuke that it's got it will give you really 
serious damage. I haven't got the ultimate form for this card. I need ultra rare, but this one is like steel force. It takes the largest damage and it deals it back um, on the next turn. So that is, those will be the two ultimate forms, the three ultimate forms that you can use to get the killer skill. Now, hard one gorillas will be um, used a lot as the main damage dealer. This is one combination that I was considering. I'm using Protectors of Prosperity and this will give you a 2,000% a attack increase. But that's a one-shot offer because it only happens when you're ambushing. On a subsequent attack, it will give you 200%. It has got a revive and um, it does heal as well. The next card up is Metaverse Master, which is a staple of almost every single deck. It's gonna give you 150% damage increase to the next card to activate their battle skill. Keepers of History is one that's gonna upgrade your power gems. It creates eight um, Earth Power Gem six sevens and it increases Earth Slayer's attack by 100% for three turns. Whenever ambushing, it upgrades all Earth Power Gems by two rank higher. So it only does that. It's a one shot offer as well. So that card and that card gives you a one shot offer. This one, it was the last um, ultimate form we had for the last. Earth Slayer event and this one upgrades all Earth Power Gems by one rank and increases self damage by 150% for two turns when ambushing becomes immune to enemy's attack for one turn. Now this one will give you uh, upgraded Power Gems by two rank higher and this one gives you it by one rank higher. If I add the ultimate form I would swap the ultimate form with Keepers of History because this one is going to upgrade your power gems every single time you activate the battle skill. It's got two turn cooldown as well. So it works really well with hard one gorillas. The current ultimate form has got a three turn cooldown. So your deck will be uh, three turns after your first activation. But the thing about this is that um, it doesn't really matter if it becomes a free turn cooldown that deck because you you will be able to activate your battle skills on turn zero if you've got the ultimate form you might need you might want to swap out um, protectors of prosperity and put in the ultra red ultra red doesn't create any power gems however but with um, metaverse master creating dark power gems those being converted by using say by using say Amy's Sword of Excellence. So if you swap this one out and use Amy's Sword of Excellence, then all of those will be converted by hard hard one gorillas to earth uh, power gems. And then um the current ultimate form will give you six power gem eights and then this one earthen drake it will give you it will give you an upgrade uh, and it does create earth eight power gem eights every time um the start of every turn so at the start of each turn so this passive will not be affected by um by chaos because it creates it at the beginning of the, of the turn while chaos activates at the end of the turn this one does give you power gems every every fourth turn it creates two earth power gem twos and it dispels one buff from an enemy so those are some of the cards i considered using but there could be other cards that you you could use as well so let's take a look at some slayer cards so some slayer cards we've seen Ardburn odd worn gorillas verdant druid is not something that i would recommend you using um other real overseers whew, would i recommend that one not so much this one i was a bit disappointed with it when it just came out but it does give you 12 earth power gem sevens and it increases earth slayer's attack by 300 percent so that's something that you could uh, considered to use seed bone wayfarers and this one it creates uh, seven earth power gems 
uh, increases Earth's laser attack by 35%. So it does give you a revive. But uh, I would, if I haven't got anything that creates a, a lot of power gems in the way of, say, Slayer cards, I would go for this one, which does create quite a bit of Earth power gems. So this one is a commander card, and it, um, with its battle skill, it cleanses one debuff from each Earth commander, which is not going to benefit your Slayer cards only benefit itself but it does dispel one enemy buff then it creates 12 earth power gem sevens got a free turn cooldown on attack it creates seven earth power gem sixes and it heals for 300 percent of your recovery it permanently increases self damage by 150 percent and reduces damage taken from enemies attack by 20 percent so this is something that you could consider to use uh, it is an arcane killer um, event um, there are cards out there that increases arcane killers attack they are commander cards none of which are earth you've got one um, I think you've got um, circuit break Illyria that does that quite well but it is a fire card so I wouldn't recommend using that one so that is it for today's um, deck release. Uh, join me tomorrow for possible deck combination. Um, if I am lucky to get anything from the 500 gem vault, I definitely will be showcasing the ultimate form alongside our one parallels. So if you've got any comments, any questions, any suggestion, you can leave it in the comment section below can find me on the network app uh, the easiest way to contact me is um, leave a comment in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed as yet uh, it would be really appreciated if you could subscribe or leave a um, like on the video this is like saying thanks for watching my videos thanks for subscribing thanks for your support thanks to all of you guys out there and see you tomorrow on possible awesome deck combination bye for you.